Hey guys, Nysor here with another Nysor tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be routing each track from the arrangement view, which is this view, into the mixer. Each track, so my kick, my snare, it's all going to go on to one channel on the mixer. So I'm going to show you how to route those. I like to mix as I go, just barely, so I can have a general idea of which sounds will go where. Mainly I'm just, you know, messing with the levels here because that's going to give me an idea of where I want each sound to go in my mix. I'm not going through an EQing and doing a bunch of mixing yet. We're just kind of getting the basic levels that we want. And one big thing to remember is when you're when you're producing your track, your master channel should always stay at 100 or in this case, yeah, it is 100. Okay. 0 decibels though. Up here you can see at the top, it'll tell you if it's 100, with how many decibels it's down, or up, positive or negative. Um, but one tip when you're mixing, you want to keep it under, I've heard a couple different things, either negative 6 or negative 8. That way when you bump it out, once you're finished with the track, then your mastering technician can kind of take that and have a, a lot of room to work with it and make it sound a lot better. Um, Cannot stress the fact that most of these sounds, like your kicks, say you had two different kicks, you want them on separate channels so you can do different things to them and you can mix them correctly. I used to make uh, make the mistake, well what I see as a mistake is to put all my bass noises on one track and call it bass. Or my subs or different subs or different snares, I'd put them on one track and just be like snares or my drums. And you don't want to do that. You want to have separate tracks, and you're going to have a lot of different tracks. But it's going to help out in the end. I promise that. So let's hear what I've got so far. Okay. So I don't like these sounds right here. I'm going to... Just kind of move these over so they're they're on beat. Nice, I like it. Sounds cool. Okay, um, so now to route each sound onto its own track, what I'll do is click the sound that I want. Make sure to click your pencil tool, double click on the sound, and over here there's a track section. Now this is where you're going to choose which track it's going to go to on the mixer. So if I select one, it's going to go on this track, two, this track, and so on. So let's go ahead and do that for all of our sounds. My snare, track two, my little hi-hats, those are going to be on three. Um, this is my first bass noise on four. This one's going to go on five, and so on. And eight. Okay, so now they should all be playing on the mixer. Now you can see that they're all coming up. You can see the volume on each individual track. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of start mixing these down so that you have a general idea of where your sounds are going to be in the mix. Um, you're going to figure out, obviously my hi-hats are going to be very low. So we're going to find which one that is, which is on track 4. I'm going to bring those way down. And then this sound too is really loud. So I'm going to bring that one down as well. And then we'll talk about EQing and EQing in a separate video. Oh, I guess my high hat's on three. I remember I was talking. 
about that negative six to negative eight decibels, trying to keep your master channel from going above that six decibel range. The negative six. It's gonna be our goal here. By ear, everything that, I, that you're seeing right now is, you know, I'm just kind of listening for what's too loud, what's too soft, and bringing it back up, so they all kind of, they, they fit into the mix, and every, all the sounds are even. You want your kick and snare to come out the most. Those are very prominent in the type of music that I'm making, for drum and bass, anyway. Okay. So that should give you a general idea of how to put your sounds into the mixer so that you can start mixing and adding effects to your sounds, um, to your drums, and anything else you put in there, VSTs, melodies, um, your MIDI, your MIDI samples. And that's about it. Alright, make sure to subscribe and I'll be coming up with more videos soon. Thanks.